Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you're either tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just want to extend a very warm welcome to you. And just first and foremost, let you know that our purpose is to pray for you and it's to share God's truth with you and it's to create this into a community when you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we got a good topic when we're talking. We're going to be in the book of Psalms, 119, verse 11. So if you have your Bibles, would you please flip along to the passage with us? Or turn on your Bibles and flip it as well. Um, we're going to be talking about um, hiding God's word in our heart that we might not sin against him. And the word of God is powerful. We believe in prayer first and foremost here. But we also believe in the word of God secondly. So we're going to be diving into this short passage. So if you have your Bibles, please flip along. Turn on your Bibles, and I will put this up in a brief order of prayer, and then we'll jump into the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, would you speak to us now by this passage? God, teach us what it means to hide your word in our hearts, God. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. So this is why we come before you now and seek you in prayer and in your word. Amen. You ready? Psalms 119 verse 11 says this. It says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. What is it saying? It's very simple, friends. It says, I have hidden your word. Which word? This word. The word about God. The, the, the Bible. The truth of God. Hidden your word in my heart. That what? That I might not sin against you. What sin? You name it. Maybe it's sin of pornography. Maybe it's sin of lusting. Maybe... Maybe sin of stealing. Maybe sin of lying. Friends, we we all sin. You name it. Friends, I pray that we would hide God's word in our heart. Doesn't mean that we won't sin. But when we hide God's word in our heart, it helps us to not sin, to sin less. Friends, the word of God is powerful. You believe it? I believe it can change our life. Amen. Let's pray. We just pray over us that God's word would be hidden in our, in our heart. And we'll close this video out. Father God, I just pray over these people watching this video. God, God, this is a difficult topic. God, we think the word of God is so hard. We think it challenges us a lot to do stuff. But Lord, in reality, it's not hard. The word of God, we have it right in front of our hands, but sometimes we get bit so busy doing other things that we, it's hard for us to open it and read it all the time, God. Lord, I pray that we learn to hide your word in our heart every day, that we might not sin against you, Lord. God, send the powerful thing. Help us overcome sin with your word. With you, God. God, we need more of you and less of us, God. More of you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord God, if someone needs to give the life to you today for the first time, Lord, I put, they would say, God, I'm a sinner, Lord. I confess my need for you, Lord. I confess that I, I need you. I confess that, that I don't have hope of how you. So, Lord, today I give my life to you, God. Please forgive me of my sins. I give my life to you right now. Lord, if someone needs to come back to you, Lord, I pray they would say, God, I've been trying to do this life of value, but it has not been working out. So today, Lord, I come back to you boldly. And I say, yes, Lord, and I will follow you the rest of my life. God, I just want to pray, pray for continued strength for the believers that they would continue to go deep into you, that they would continue to not grow weary in doing good, that they would stay faithful to you, God. God, we love you. We lift this all up to you, God. Help us hide your word in our heart that we might not sin against you, God. Amen. Well, friends, I hope you were blessed by this topic. Friends, let's love the Word of God more this year. Let's hide it in our hearts. Because the Word of God is powerful. It's alive. When we read it, all the more, it comes alive even more to us. Yes, it's already alive even if we're not reading it. But it comes alive even more to us. and helps us to, to not sin. Amen. Amen. If you guys any prayer or support, we are here to pray for you. We're here to talk to you. So don't have the day to reach out. Till next time, I hope you have a blessed day. And remember to keep Christ number one. God bless you all. Much love. Peace.